Welcome to another episode of Open RCT2 Tutorials, where today I'm going to show you how to create a swing launch or a triple launch coaster with block brakes. So here we just have the single train. Now I know other uh, users like Dirklink have made tutorials showing you how you can make a triple launch with block brakes, but it requires the use of another track. Uh, in this uh, tutorial I'm going to show you how to do it with just a single track so all we need is this track we have here so I just have a little example of the triple launch here but this is just with one train so it's functioning properly uh, but if you want to add more than one train here on this triple launch right here it's obviously not going to work in the current uh, setting how we have it now so basically I will show you we have black brakes right now we have black brakes here um, I put a block break here using a chain lift on the crest of the hill. It will always create a block break when you have a chain on the crest of the hill. Did another one here, so when the train exits the swing launch, it will free up the block for another train. And then I have a block break here and here. So we have five blocks. But if you wanted to do three trains, let's see. It obviously is not going to work right now. Nothing's going to move because this train, it's not... It doesn't understand that the block ahead, it's it's not connecting with the block beforehand, and I'll discuss that. But it's a simple fix. All we have to do is do some construction right here. So this block break is looking ahead to see that there's another block ahead of it, which of course there is. But then as you go back from this block, you want to make sure that the launch track is above the S-bend so that the train will travel up the back spike. Uh, however, that means that that block break cannot find the block break behind it because it's just going up the spike, so it doesn't link up with the one before it. So basically, you have to create a pathway so that the block can go back to the block before it. So I can show you pretty quickly. It doesn't really matter this track right now because we can make it invisible later. All right, let's just wind it over here. And I need to turn on disable clearance checks so we can build right through that. All right, so now basically this block can look ahead to the block ahead of it right here. And then this block will look backwards to make sure that the block behind it is there. And so there we have it. But as you go forward, since we use the tile inspector uh, correctly, you make sure that the tracks are lined up so that this one is above and then the bottom one is always gonna be the one the train will travel on. So as you go forward, you can see the train will follow this track onto the swing launch, but when you go backwards, it will obviously go up the spike. So basically now we can open with three train operation and it should work just fine. And that's all there is to it. It's really just that simple. And now while that train is going through the course, I am going to paint this portion of track red, the unused, portion and paint it and here you can see the train is going to go up through the swing launch and then backwards up the spike and it should function just fine it will clear the block on the crest and then this train will come around to this block and it's open and the ride functions just how it should now it's pretty simple and now you can basically use the tile inspector if you'd like to make all of the track pieces invisible one by one but that's really tedious. However, there is a new plugin. I'm not sure if it's new or not, but it's called Ride Editor. There'll be a link in the video description to check this out. But all you gotta do is find the roller coaster, and then you can change the visibility by paint color, as well as some other cool stuff. So I'm gonna change it to the correct color scheme, visibility, change it to invisible, apply changes, and there we go. So now that's all there really is to it, to create a swing launch coaster with the block section. Now if you want to know a little bit more how this works, I can take you over here with this example. So basically here we have a roller coaster where I created a functioning uh, drop track, I guess, with block zones. So you can see the blue is the drop track, so the train here is going to switch over to the blue track and go backwards, hit some chain lift that's going to push it forward, and then it will switch track to a new block, and it will clear that, and the train behind it will function. So basically, all right, so basically the way I've done this is, uh, there you can see with the red track, is connecting all of the block zones. So this is all one track, it's all the same ride, 
But the way this works is we have our block break here and it is going to look behind to make sure there's a block here at the station. So that works correctly. And then from that block, it's going to look ahead. So I created the red track to connect it to the next block. So there it is. But then when you go backwards from this block, it needs to go back to find the block before it. So as you go back, uh, because the blue track doesn't really go anywhere, it's going to look behind and find nothing. So then the red track created will return it back to the first block that it was looking for. So basically it's really simple. All you have to do is for each of your block breaks, make sure that it can look back and find the block behind it and also look ahead to find the block ahead of it and it will function properly. So the red track is not needed, so the green and blue track are what's functioning. It's all just one track. And again, you can use the ride editor and make the red track invisible. And then you have a functioning ride that looks great. Well, this isn't the best looking ride, but anyway, sometime this plugin can be a little tricky. You might need to play around with it a little bit, but um, it's a great addition. But that's all there is to it. So enjoy creating your own triple launch coasters with working block sections. So thanks for watching and please subscribe, uh, share this with your friends because I really enjoy sharing my tips and tricks for OpenRCT2 with all of you and I got a lot more in store.